right, guys, here's some more promise footage of our techniques and stuff that we've been kind of learning out here. We've been at it for about 65 days. Got about eight days left up here in North Georgia. Got my wife, Georgia, down there right now. She is just killing it, pumping material across there. I've never been prouder. Lucky guy, lucky guy today. So I wanted to talk about these buoys here. This is our left and right boundary. When we were back here, we've been in the same area for about two weeks. We had the hole about 12 feet wide, and we were consistently on right and left side, sampling them differently, weighing them out differently. We were getting about the uh, about 0.3 an hour, a little bit under 0.3 to 0.3 an hour. So what we did is we checked out the middle of that 12 foot width, and we noticed that our goal jumped up to about 0.6 an hour. So it almost doubled. We realized, or we think that we were too wide, and we were dredging up too much valueless dirt. There's gold everywhere out in this entire river. The background gold, as they call it, it's about 0.15 to 0.25 an hour. Just barely enough to break even between the two engines and the dredges and all the expenses. So we're looking for the heart of the pastry. So when we went in the middle, really helped us jump up our uh, gold recovery daily and hourly. So just something to think about, something we're learning. Learning something new every day out here. It's tough, but we've been we've been enjoying it. We love it. We definitely gotta love gold to do this. Anyone that's dredged knows that. So check us out. Leave any questions or any comments. We love to love to chat. See you guys.